Welcome to the Creative Hugsa. In this video, we will create a gold effect in the Fendi photo. I got this idea from a YouTube video I saw by Chris Spooner, who has a YouTube channel called Spooner Graphics. In the video, Chris created a gold effect in Photoshop, but I liked the video so much that I decided to see if this could be done in a Fendi photo. As you can see from these pictures, there is a way to turn images into gold using a Fendi photo. So, let me show you how to create this effect. Go to File Open and select the downloaded image. Go to the Layers panel and click the lock icon to unlock the image. Go to the Tools panel and select the Selection Brush tool. Take the brush and select all of the cake. Make sure that in the Context toolbar you have As selected. Also make sure that you have Snap to Edges checked. In the context toolbar, hit refine. Next, set the output to new layer, then hit apply. In the layers panel, select the new pixel layer and uncheck it. Then check the original image back on. After that, press Ctrl plus J to make a duplicate of the original image. Go to the layers panel and select the duplicated layer. Click on the mask layer icon to add a mask to this layer. Select the duplicated layer and press Ctrl plus J to make another duplicate of it. You can rename these layers if you want to. With the new layer selected, go to the Layers panel and click the Adjustments icon. Then select the black and white adjustment. Make sure you drag the adjustment inside of the duplicated layer. Make a duplicate of the layer you just added the black and white adjustment to. Press Ctrl plus J to do this or right click on the layer and select duplicate. Now select this new duplicated layer. In the layers panel, go to the blend mode and select difference. With the duplicated layer still selected, go to the layers panel and click the adjustments icon, then select invert. Make sure you drag the invert adjustment inside of the duplicated layer. In the layers panel, select the two duplicated cake layers, select the first layer, then hold control to select the second layer. Right click on your selection and click merge visible. A new layer will be created that merges the properties of the two layers you selected. With the merge layer selected, press control plus J to duplicate it, or right click on it and select duplicate. Select the duplicated merge layer, go to the blend mode and select difference. After that, go to the Adjustments icon and select Invert. Make sure you put the Invert adjustment inside of the duplicated Merge layer. Select both of the merged layers, then right-click on them and select Merge Visible. A new Merge layer will be created. As you see, this is starting to create a metallic effect. With the new Merge layer selected, click the Adjustments icon. Next, select the Gradient Map adjustment. Make sure you drag the Gradient Map layer inside of the Merge layer. Now go to the gradient map, select the red color stop and go to color. Make sure you're on the RGB hex sliders, then type the following color code. Select the green color stop, go to color and give it the following color code. After that, select the blue color stop, go to color and give it the following color code. In the Layers panel, select the golden pixel layer, right click on it and select Merge Visible. You will see a new pixel layer was created that combined these settings from the gradient map with the pixel it was grouped with. Now take the Selection Brush tool, make sure you're in the Add mode and that Snap to Edges is checked. If you select an area you don't want to select, change the mode to Subtract mode to undo your selection. Once you've selected all of the cake, Go to the context toolbar and hit refine. In the output, set the output to new layer, then hit apply. In the layers panel, turn off all the other layers except for the new layer that was created. Go to the layers panel and click on the add pixel layer icon. Place the new pixel layer below the gold cake pixel layer. Select the new pixel layer, go to the edit menu and select fill with secondary primary color. The pixel layer should be filled with black. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss an upload.